Alright guys, today we're going to be showing you how to set up uh, the automatic sieve and hammer for uh, Sky Factory 2.5. So, what you want to do is take your uh, hammer and connect it to a node right here that's pulling cobblestone out of the cobble gin. It's going to start filling that up. You're going to want to power it. Uh, I'm using the creative cell, but you can power it with a water wheel or whatever, whatever you want to. So as you can see, it's starting to break down the cobblestone already. There's upgrades you can put in here to make it go a bit faster, but we're not going to do that today. So next you want to place down another node, and you can either place the sieve here, and that's going to sieve your gravel out, or you can take it a step farther and break it down into sand, and then you can break it down into uh, dust. But we're just going to do sand today. No. This node does need a world interaction upgrade in order to move... Uh, the gravel from the hammer into this next hammer. We gotta power that guy. Next we're gonna place our sieve at the end or sieve, whatever you want to call it. And another world interaction upgrade. You don't need the full stack, it just takes one. And uh that will take the gravel that's been broken down into sand and toss it in here and we'll power this guy and it starts working. It has an internal inventory. If you want to pull it out you can use hoppers below it or these item transfer nodes. So that's the flat version. And that's one way to set up. I'm going to show you the next way, which I need pipes for. Unprepared. So with this version, it uh, could be cheaper depending on what your resources are looking like. So what you just want to do is take a pipe and bring it out like that. Then you're going to want to place your hammer right there and then one block like that. You guys obviously don't have to go as high as I did, but, and like that. So now you just need to power these on each side. And what's that, that's gonna do is start your hammer up just like over there. The hopper is gonna pull it out instead of the node, so you don't have to sit here and spend a lot of iron on these world interactions. And it starts sieving, but obviously just like over there, if you don't want to sieve gravel, you can put a hammer here, and then it'll start breaking it down into sand, and then we could take it the step farther, and go like that, and that'll break the sand down into dust and etc. You just keep chaining it down until you get to the sieve. And that's just about it for setting up a uh, automatic sieve system. I like the staircase type better, but uh, this is what can work out really nice and it does pretty good. It's like a clean setup, so that's about it.